guys, it is currently 2.15. We are just on our way to the airport. Danny's just having a quick shower before we go. I am literally so tired. I really didn't sleep much at all, so I'm gonna have to sleep a lot on the plane. And yeah, so we're just heading off now. Turin, Italy, and we've just gone for a nice cup of coffee. I've made my first mistake here because I ordered a latte, which in the UK is a coffee with milk. But here, latte just means steamed milk, so I literally just had a cup of steamed milk. So I ordered an espresso and just put it in as well. But we're gonna go off into the town centre and have a look around. And then I think this evening, we're gonna have a nice meal out somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. So we've just picked up some lunch. I went to an all vegan sort of canteen and got some nice food so i'm going to show you what i'm going to eat and then we've just come to this is the palatine gate and we're just having a nice little picnic so i just got a croquette which is this round thing so that's just made of potato and then i got this chickpea sort of tomato mix for the side then i also found a vegan tiramisu which i can't wait to try and also a chocolate croissant for tomorrow morning <laughs> We've come now to the Palazzo Reale, which is a famous palace in Torino. And we're just about to see the museum they've got here. hotel and we've had a really relaxed afternoon we basically got no sleep last night so we just caught up on some sleep and got a takeaway i had like this really nice vegan kebab it was really good but plans for this evening are to basically go out to the center of turin to look at sort of the nightlife and have maybe a few cocktails and kind of see what the vibe is in the middle of the city we're going down a street called Via Giovanni, which is like the main area where the nightlife is in Turin. So hopefully there's a nice bar or two. Today we basically just had a bit of a tour around Turin and kind of got to know the area a bit better. Um, that museum that we went to was absolutely gorgeous. I would highly recommend if you're here. If you're under 25 years old, there's only three euros each, which is just amazing. Um, so outfit for tonight. So this is what I'm wearing tonight. I've just got my pretty little thing corset top and some cargo jeans. I'm obviously gonna wear a coat because it's super cold outside now, but yeah. And I'm wearing my new earrings as well. guys it's Saturday morning this is our second day in Italy and today we're going to go off to one of the local food markets in Turin and we're going to get some lunch and have a nice picnic probably in a garden or somewhere like that and I think we're also going to go off to a chocolate festival that they have here at the moment which will be nice. I'm currently eating my breakfast so I'm having my pan au chocolat from that vegan cafe the other day 
and I think I'm going to go back today and get a couple more croissants because they're so so nice. And this is just today's outfit so I've just got on a brown bodysuit and some jeans. Wearing my cute earrings and my headband. it is now currently Sunday. We had such a lovely day yesterday. We went round the Turin market which was really really busy and had all sorts of different um, food vendors and bits of bobs there you can basically pick up. I even found like a vegan mini pizza which was really really good. Um, I also picked up some Christmas socks which I'm really happy about. So I got some reindeers and some bears which are really cute and I wore the reindeers yesterday and they're so so comfy and then we went off to a chocolate festival which was really really cute I picked up some vegan chocolate with pistachio in it and I even found a classic Italian vegan hot chocolate which is just a really thick hot chocolate so that was really nice and we went out and had a nice meal in the evening and that pizza was literally the best vegan pizza I've ever had and we've got leftovers for today, so I think we're gonna go off, grab a cup of coffee at the marketplace again because the coffee there was really nice. And then we're gonna find a nice park and have a picnic. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It did rain a little bit last night, um, only in the evening and it wasn't too heavy, but it looks like the weather's gonna be good for the rest of our stay now, which is really nice. But yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to go up to Basachila di Superga, which basically overlooks the whole of Turin city, so that will be really nice. You have to go up on this really cute old train, so that will be really cute. And then we're going to see the whole of Turin from up there, so I think it's going to be a really good day. So we're just going to go off now.
guys, so it is now Tuesday and it's our last day in Turin. I would say overall Turin has been really, really good. It is very similar to Milan, but everything is a lot cheaper. We've had such a great time here and honestly, it's been amazing. Like as everywhere you go, there is something going on and it's just so busy. Um, so yesterday when we went to the Basilica di Superga, that was really, really beautiful up there. The tram was shut, so we had to go up by bus, but it was still a great experience. And that was all included in our multi-day city pass that we bought with the services that they have here. So that was really good. And then we paid, I think like three or four euro to go up to the top of the dome. And the view was just absolutely amazing. You could even see like the Alps in the background. It was so, so cool. I would say the must things you have to do if you ever come to Turin are definitely to go to the Basilica. That was probably the best thing that we did. It was so amazing up there. And also the Museo di Reale, which is just absolutely stunning. Again, we only paid about three euro to get in because we were under 25, so that was really good. And it was just massive in there. Also, the central market in town is really, really good and there's loads of food vendors and it's just really lively there and it has a lot going on. That was really good over there. And then finally, the Parco del Valentino, which was the park we went to with the medieval town in the middle. That is stunning there as well. I would say if you are going to Turin, I would highly suggest you go to all of those spots because they were all so beautiful. So we're just going to enjoy our last day here and do a couple of bits that we have missed out. We're not going to do anything big because we are flying um, to Stansted tonight. So we're just going to have a bit of a relaxed day because it's going to be a very long day. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you have, please like and subscribe and thank you all for watching. I'll see you later.